What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Final Hydra, and today we are going to be continuing our adventures into Dark Souls 2, the Scholar of the First Sin Edition, or expansion, or however it's said. That shield looks like an eyeball. We have a little bit of souls left over from the end of the last... Oh, that's right. Yep. That's You know what? I actually forgot all about these, so I'm glad you reminded me about them. Here, you can have both. I think I have two. There you go. Hit them. Hit them with a with a solid two upgrades. Big wins. Now, I did want to level up and check out this. So let's see. Lightning defense. What if we do this. Okay. So faith really is like our whole thing, huh? And we kind of wanted to buff a tune. It's going to take level 13 to get attunement up. All right. Well, we're going to do it. That way I can have heal and lightning spears. It's just always good to have those extra heals available to us. Attune spells. Grab that. All right. So we've got the lightning spear. What that's good for, I don't know at this point, but we'll find something. We'll figure it out. All right. Now, There's only one area left to go in this tower or in the in the, the lost Bastille. And I don't think I've gone down here yet, so let's do that. Again with this guy. Dude. What is up with the pursuer? It's like he's mad that I beat him that, like, all these times. And the fact that we're fighting him in a room filled with explosive barrels just... Like, I couldn't think of a way to make this boss fight any more chaotic than, than this. I love that I can use that ladder to totally just cheese him out. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's uh, four pursuers I've now killed. Do I have one of these? I don't have any of those. Uh, let's open this up. Priest's Chime. Oh, that actually might be a direct upgrade for us. I Now, I know there's the Pharos uh, lock right there, but I feel like there's a area down here that I can open without the lock. I might be wrong. I think I am wrong. Alright, I'm, I'm just wrong. I know that Basically, there's two illusionary walls down there, but let's check out that priest's chime. That seems like that's a direct upgrade for us now at this point. Right, so, oh, that will have an A scaling for lightning. Let's grab that. We also did get what? The large club? Ooh. Hold on. Okay, this has a B scaling. That also has a B scaling. Holy crap. <laughs> it almost does more. And this thing's at a, what? A plus five? Holy crap. That thing hits like a truck. We also got the large club, which does have an A scaling, but does require 26 strength to wield with one hand. I'm pretty sure the entire purpose of that is to not wield it with one hand, but I'm... I'm almost sure it's supposed to just be a two-handed weapon, but all right. Going forward now in this area is a little, we've kind of only got one direction left to go. So let's do it, which is funny because I, I've always kind of done this in this area. Like I've always just been like, all right, well time to, 
blow through this area, right? Because this area has like some enemies that can deal a lot of damage, but it's also an area that you can get through, I think, as long as like you're dealing enough damage where like the AI don't really feel like they're just manhandling you to, 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 to death. I could have used heal. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep forgetting that I have that now. Now we can come up here, ignore all of that. Take out that guy. I think we should take this guy out too, just because he's here and I don't like him. Alright. Forward now is kind of our only avenue. Dark Spirit Forlorn. Interesting. I don't remember this guy at all. What's up, Forlorn? What are you going to do? I sh sh could have got the backstab back there, but I didn't. All right, we deal decent damage to him. I think he tried to bait the backstab and then got me there. You. Dude, why is your weapon going through my shield? Could just be that much damage. Yeah, see, that time it didn't. I really like his sword though. It's super cool looking. It's a fellow strength user right here. Sorry bro, I brought healing. I don't know about you, but uh. Oh, get out of here. Dark spirit forlorn vanquished. Got a human effigy out of him. Now I know. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure those guys can shoot at me and be big old dicks. Hey, calm it down up there. All right, now we can come in here and I believe the correct thing to do is then go up this way and beat up these guys. Just because you can. I remember these gargoyles, but I have not seen them actually land to attack me anywhere. Which is weird. The salt fort. This is the saltiest of all the forts. Slap that guy down. I'm trying to remember where those gargoyles will actually fight you. Is it like out there on that little balcony? Is that even a spot? It might be. I genuinely do not remember what their deal is and where they fight you. Oh, 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 body right inside. Guarantee I was just about to walk past an item. Large soul of an undead. We got a bunch of those at this point. We definitely could have uh, used them for some free levels at this point, but we'll get there when we get there. get so many items from those guys yet we have not gotten their shield yet which is pretty uh or not their shield their sword good thing i use that life gem right right there perfect a plus plus all right now this area here, if I remember correctly, gets a little wild. I 
I don't know if I remember correctly, but I might. All right, now we just hop off right here. The lacerating knife. Now that's just a knife that uh, does bleed damage, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, how many of those butterfly things do I have? I have seven. I really should have used one up top and that's my own fault. But I'm now remembering how dark this area is and how useful they can be. All right, I see this guy coming. And you could tell seeing him coming really helped. If you guys remember the flexile sentry here, we beat him up pretty bad on a boat. Uh, okay. Yeah, we weren't really in waist deep water last time, which is, uh, I'm finding is definitely a problem for the fight. Dude, his range is crazy. All right. I need to get a little smarter in this fight or this dude's just gonna make mince me to me. I mean, the guy is literally making mince me to me right now. Smarter or not. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure a big part of the fight is just... Not letting that side beat you up. I think they go one attack. They go basically two attacks each. Yeah, and then they take a pause and then they alternate sides. It's one and two. He's going to do a third, actually. Pause. One. Two. And now he's going to alternate sides again. Go back for this. I think I can burst him down. Yeah, I can. Nice. Do I get another flexile sentry soul? No, just a just a bunch of souls. Cool. I think there's another one down here too. It's I don't even think that's the only one. Can I hit this guy, please? Instead of just slapping the wall over and over again. Like, believe me, hitting the wall was a good time, but, uh, can I stop? Alright. Um. I know this is stupid. We just used them. I was like, oh, we have seven. We have plenty. Now I'm... Now I'm down a bunch. But... I would like to actually be able to see in this area. I know there's a couple underneath that try to run out because you're like slowed in the water. It's like their whole goal is to just get you while you're slow in the water. I... All right, we do have the Bastille kill key so we can just open these, that's right. Like this guy? We could beat him up. We could beat him up. Uh, I really want to. I think we already know that the heavy attacks stagger these guys really well. Especially with the mace. Like, the mace has just been... Kind of like my crown and glory this run through. Another another one of their spears. I just hate leaving them alive, you know? 
All right. Now. I know they're down there. I thought that would draw them out or anything. Oh, wait. I think because I have the key, I could just open these gates at the top and not have to walk down there. Am I correct in that? That is correct. Which is actually kind of funny to me because I forgot all about that. Now, the other side. Is that also just a drop down? I can't remember. So we're going to check. It's, it, you know what? It's like it'll take two seconds and we might as well just check. I think it is just another drop down. It is. Can I like not see that from over there? Or am I just like ridiculous? I think I'm just ridiculous. Is there any reason to open this? I don't think you can from this side anyway. All right. We may now proceed forward. And I do not remember what's up in these. Smooth and silky. Oh, I remember what that is, though. I remember what that is a hundred percent. Super duper wish this was working. Okay. Hey, remember we got a whole bunch of these. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Here you go. You can set the light. That's really really important and I am genuinely shocked that I even remember that 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 is something that's so good for this boss um and I mean now that I've done it you guys will see uh you guys well you guys won't well you will see but you won't see uh how difficult this fight can be without that and I do not believe there are any summons for this fight. So everybody's like, eh, all he does is summon things. Ah, I do not believe there are summons anywhere. It's just you and the boss going mono we mono and I'm just double checking. I don't see anything anywhere. We're just double checking. All right. I've only got two Estus flasks left and a lot of souls on the line, but let's let's give it the old hee-haw. Did you guys see that little bug? Did you see that? That was really important. The Lost Sinner. Now, if I didn't set those lights, this entire room would be very dark. Oh, oh, that's my fault. I went for a double when I should have just went for a single. Now, if I remember, this enemy can deal a lot of damage quick. So I am gonna take almost any opportunity I can to heal, even if that's dumb. The lost sinner. We're gonna we're gonna talk some lore, and then when the fight's over, or whenever we get the soul, we'll figure it out. We'll read from there. But the lost sinner is one of the four ancient beings that their names have been forgotten. Like that's why this one is called the lost sinner with the lost name. Effectively, nobody remembers what they were called, but. Oh, 
oh gosh, sorry. I'm trying to like also focus and uh, and talk lore. Um, so this character here contains the soul of the old witch of Izalith. Folks, remember the lost sinner. She committed one of the first sins, which was to try and make another flame. She tried to replicate the first flame, and that was one of the first sins, and what actually led to the downfall of a lot. All of her, most of her children, like a lot of her children, uh, and plagued Isolith with demons. I mean, it was just a different form of life, but she committed one of the, I'm not gonna say that that's what the DLC is named after the scholar the, or the first sin, but the Witch of Izalith committed like one of the first like acts of, I guess, uh, I don't know if heresy is the right word, but she went against the natural order of the world and tried to stop the fading of the flame and make her own flame. So she committed one of the first sins. Now, let's look at this soul and see if, I, if I'm holding weight to my lore. Okay. Soul of the lost sinner, prisoner of sinner's rise. The lost sinner eternally punishes herself for the sins of her past. Now, she's one of the great souls. She sits in darkness. And... Oh, another fragrant branch of your... Yes. Thank you. All right. The primal bonfire. A primal bonfire was rekindled. Now, this is one of the old bonfires. Return to the far fire. So if we sit here, it's, I think it just throws us back to Majula, which is considered the far fire. Yes. Now, we've got a lot to talk about. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm hoping that other characters will expand on this lore. The soul of an old one. one of the old one. That is more than most undead can say. Uh, anything else? That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. Oh, she's talking about the cat. The sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows. But all hollows were once undead. Ah. If you find an Estes shard, so that all right. over the hill and past the forest. Is the king's castle. She's, we've had that. Peered straight into the essence of this. We've had that dialogue. Those who come to Drangley, that, that although he does offer sound, it, perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Okay, so we've reached all of her dialogue. Maybe it's the the little cat that gives good, like lore based on this on the soul of the old one. Let's find out. Maybe it's her. I don't know. I'm trying to. Trying to get these characters to talk about the game a little. Oh. Who are you again? Don't be like that, little cat. Sitting in a chair, so adorable. Oh, serious. The type I'm quite fond Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago. Yep. Wish, although, Victor Stone. Is already, already dead. Isn't it? This place is We receive only the most peculiar. It's a... Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake. Imagine that. Yes. Nothing like for you have a most... Have you made friends with the man by... He's lost the only... Can't you give it... 
Did you see that on the Damn, I, I really thought that that cat gave like really good lore when you would carry souls near her. But she seems to just kind of be going on and on about stuff. Hmm. I'm a little perplexed. Let's level up. Let's do that. And I'm not sure. That like kind of blew me away how little she wanted to talk about some of that stuff. Uh, get our endurance at least to 12. Vitality to 12. Attunement. We'll leave it 13. What is this? This is adaptability. Intelligence we don't need at all. But we can throw two more points into faith, I think. So faith is like our main stat right now. And you could almost argue that it's probably uh, not helping me as much as I would really like it to. But let's travel back. Sinner's Rise is actually closer to where we need to go. But <clears throat> so anyway, that prisoner carried the soul of the Witch of Izalith. Now, that weird little bug that we saw go into her eye, I don't know if you guys remember from the first game, looked very similar to uh, how the witch looked at the end when she was coiled up on the ground. The thing that I killed underneath her, not the, not the bed of chaos, but the actual body of the witch. That little being that crawled into the sinner's eye was very reminiscent of it and it you could argue that that bug was the sinner not the actual like physical person but that wee buggy bug all right knock this dude out get rid of him we're gonna go back over this way and we're going to wake up that other statue, which is very important, I believe, if I remember correctly. He's, like, crazy important for, uh, as a shopkeeper, primarily. Uh, excuse me, you just passed through your cage? That's, uh, cheating. I think the important thing is to kill all these ones on the side. we go. Let's wake him up. Way you go, buddy. Yeah, and I'd also get out of the way. Because there's a bonfire to be lit. And I'm lighting it. Let's talk. Young traveler. I am strayed, a wandering sorcerer of sorts. I've been a guest for a very long time, but I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool that, like, the petrification, like, it's basically. I mean, you're not immortal, but, you know, you go to a whole new age in the future. You can buy stuff from him, and he'll sell you, like, oh, the Hood of the Forlorn. What is that? All right. Hood of the Forlorn, who wandered the land of the undead. Born of, born of Aldia's obsession with the first sin, the Forlorn lost both their corporeal form and a world to call their own. Now they drift into other worlds, ever in search of a home. But without self, one has neither beginning nor end, and so the forlorn have only to wander. Very interesting. I'm going to buy that. Um, that character that just attacked us was a forlorn, if you remember. 
The ring affixed with an open vessel. The vessel insatiably absorbs souls in place of its wearer, who is left unaware even of their collection. All things are rooted in souls, but what drives our thirst for them? Absence from this elixir may be the truest homage to an enduring self. I th Very interesting. Ring of Knowledge. Volgan. Uh, clerics of the, of the great city of Volgan are perennially entrenched in scandalous, scandalous power struggles, but among them remain a few strong-willed, upstanding noblemen. And then we have the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring, a ring used long, long ago in a land that existed where Drang Lake does now. Extends length of spell effects. The ancient dragons were once worshipped in several nations, and rumors concerning objects of similar enchantment to this uncommon ring abound in many lands, though their origins are no, are, mm, though their origins are no longer verifiable. Hmm. So that's, I mean, that's a ring from Dark Souls 1, and he's basically saying, like, that existed way back when in this land. And, like, the origins of all the stuff that that's based on are no longer identifiable. Now we've also got, oh, the Unveil, a miracle that senses traitors, reveals the location of the nearest enemy or invading dark spirit. Huh. Those who serve the Lindent Monastery willfully adhere to strict commandments. This miracle was created to... Uh, castigate those who ignore the righteous teachings. Then it's resplendent life and lingering flame. A bunch of pyromancies. Huh. Dark orb, dark hail. We remember all these from the other game. From dark Souls 1. Alright. But the most important part of this trader is that you can trade to him. Which is why we've come here. Now, you can basically trade him the souls of any of the bosses you've beaten, and he will give you different weapons. So you've got, like, the giant stone axe, which is the soul of the last giant. The Pursuer's Ultra Greatsword. Let's look at that. The Ultra Greatsword of the Pursuer, known as the mightiest of the straight swords, it demands great strength and dexterity of its wielder. The pursuer hunts down those branded by the curse as if each undead soul that he claims will atone for one of his sins. So the pursuer is the guy that we've beaten now like four times. He keeps coming after us, and that's kind of like his whole deal. He's just going to keep doing that because it's going to try to fix his sins. Now, I don't understand why there can be multiple of them. There might be multiple pursuers, but uh, either way, uh, they're a bunch of buttheads, and uh, they suck. Uh, it does have an, a B scaling, though. That's pretty great. That might be kind of cool to pick up, especially for our strength build. That might be pretty good. Uh, this is the Warp Sword. Forged from the soul of the Sentry, once straight but later twisted to reflect its warped owner. The Sentry crammed inmates of the overflowing Bastille onto a rickety ship and cast them out onto the open sea. The majority of them drowned or starved, but a few hardy survivors made land to the south and imparted their knowledge of sorcery to the people there. Oh, okay. The sentry crammed inmates. Okay, the same thing. Drowned, sorcery, ba 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 barbed club. Yep, this is the same thing. Okay. The spikes covering its length are as vile as the sentry itself. Giant stone axe forged from the last giant soul. This weapon resembles a primitive stone tool, but is quite powerful owing to its immense size. King Vendrick disappeared as of the war. Disappeared as of the war with the giants reached its ferocious peak, leaving his castle. Some swear that upon hearing the news, the queen's face remained as still as her portrait. Interesting. So the so he left right as the war reached its peak, the war that took an immense toll on his people. And then when his queen was told, she didn't even react is what they're saying. Dragon Rider Halberd, Halberd of the Dragon Rider, King Bendrick's Royal Guard, highly versatile weapon that can slash, sweep, and thrust when wielded nimbly. But it is also imbued with magic. Demands great skill of its wielder, thus serve to test the worthiness of those who aspire to join the Dragon Riders. They also have the Twin Blade, which is super cool, but doesn't really have a good strength scaling, so. Uh, strikes hard, but is it? Yep, same thing as the other thing. They also have a bow. Uh, same lore as the other thing. Pursuer's Great Shield. 
Same thing as the other one. And I think this is the Dragon Rider's Great Shield. Yep, rank up. Yep. Okay. And he also has some spells. Uh, heavy homing soul arrow. This is the Ruined Sentinel. One of the sorceries devised by Strayed, the great mage of ancient Olaphus. Fires thick, powerful soul arrows that seek their targets to the ends of the earth. Now, I know that was a lot of talking and a lot of, like, me talking about stuff. I guess we'll, we'll let's trade this soul in for this. We're not strong enough for it, nor dexterous enough, but it might be kind of cool to play around with eventually. And, uh, you know, it's always cool to check things out. Now, this... Does this have, like, a bleed effect? It does have a bleed effect on it. The barbed uh, club for the flexile sentry. That's kind of wild. Might trade that in just for the club, like, because we almost have the dexterity for it. It only has a C scaling, which kind of sucks. We kind of need stuff to have, a, like, at least a, a B to be better than our mace. But that's okay. Let's learn the gesture. Mock. Always nice. Pretty long. Long enough for the old kingdom to have crumbled, I see. Why didn't anyone wake me sooner? <laughs> oh, like you were gonna fix it. Let's be real. Interesting that he's never heard of Drang Laic, but a spell that he specialized in and created was used by the Ruined Sentinels. Very interesting. The cursed ones were imprisoned within this land. Of course, you gave your own free will. <laughs> the people feared the cursed ones like a plague. People would rather keep dreadful things out of sight, out of mind. In the end, they swept them up and corralled them here. So very typical of meat minds, don't you think? <laughs> Once people became aware of their own frailty, they seized anybody they found undesirable, cursed or no, and impounded them here. Whoever posed even the slightest threat was removed, all so that they could sleep better at night. They even turned the great strain into a stone. <laughs> Very interesting, isn't it, now? Many kingdoms have risen. And... Oh, okay. I was going to say, let's use a couple of these minor souls here. And buy, like, a couple more pieces of equipment. There we go. I'm not going to use any of these. So the last giant dragon rider, old dragon slayer. So he doesn't have anything for the old dragon slayer. He didn't have anything for the rune. Oh, he did have the spell and he didn't have anything for the soul of the lost center. There's another shopkeeper later on that will have those uh, items. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So he just makes like odd comments every time you come by with a soul. 
Well, I mean, I guess they're not like odd comments, but you know what I mean? Like he just, he's like, oh, interesting. I like how this dragon rider bow actually like scales with strength. It's pretty good. How's that shield? 35 strength, a little much. We'll grab that just because, and I can't believe that this stone ax literally only has a descaling in strength, but it requires 45 of it. Like, what? And you didn't have anything like that we wanted to buy, right? I don't think so. Uh, what's resplendent life? Slowly restores a large amount of HP. Hmm. Cleric Forsal of Linden was a master of miracles who fought battles across the lands. His allies called him a holy knight, but his enemies feared him for his demonic powers. Well, I gotta grab that. That sounds good. Alright. You don't have to be a jerk. Alright. But, folks, that is gonna be the end of this episode. We've done some pretty great things. We got a lot done, I think, and I'm pretty proud of our progress. So, we've beaten one of the four old ones. In the next episode, we will move on into the next areas and try to see if we can't line ourselves up to take out another one, potentially. We are moving right along with Dark Souls 2, and I'm having a great time, and I'm so glad you folks are here to join me along the way. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like, and if you like this content, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. As always, folks, if you're looking for more content, please check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description down below. And as always, folks, this has been Final Hydra. Thank you so much for staying with me and stopping by, and I will see you next time.